Hey everybody, welcome to my kitchen and welcome to Home with the Halsteads. Today, I'm going to be making an appetizer. And when I tell you what I'm going to make, you're gonna say, that is not an appetizer. Well, let's talk about this. The appetizer that I'm going to be making today uh, is hush puppies. And you're saying hush puppies are not an appetizer. That's a bread that you eat when you have a fish fry. Or, or cook some vegetables, you might cook hush puppies. Well, let's, as I said, let's talk about this. Some of the greatest restaurants that Doug and I have visited throughout this country and in foreign countries serve appetizers. When you go in, they bring something that is their specialty. It might be rolls, it might be yeast bread, um, it might be hush puppies. And so I was thinking, why shouldn't we use hush puppies as an appetizer in our house? It's a southern thing, we love them. And so that's what I'm gonna be making today. I'm gonna to make some hush puppies and we're gonna serve them as an appetizer. So let me tell you how I'm going to make it and what I'm going to put in it. I'm starting out with a half a cup of cornmeal. Now this is a half a recipe, so you could double it and make a full recipe or you could triple it or ever how many hush puppies you need. But this is a half of a recipe. One half cup of plain cornmeal. One half cup of self rising flour. I sifted it and then I measured my flour. I'm using a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. One and one half teaspoon of baking powder. One tablespoon of white granulated sugar half a teaspoon of salt, one egg, some minced green onions. Now, if you don't have green onions in your fridge, then you can just use a regular onion, or if you don't care for onions, you don't have to put onions in your hush puppies. But I'm just using the little green ones because that's what I had. And then I'm going to use about a half a cup of buttermilk, but I've got more than that, just in case I need a little bit more. Sometimes you do and sometimes you don't, and I don't know why that is, but probably about a half a cup of buttermilk. Now, if you don't have any buttermilk and you want to make some hush puppies, if you happen to have a can, a 15 ounce can of cream style corn in your pantry, then in the place of buttermilk, you could use 15 ounces of cream style corn as your liquid and mix that up and that's so delicious too. So let's get started and make these appetizer hush puppies. Okay, let's mix up these hush puppies and make us some good hush puppy mix. I'm starting out with the cornmeal. This is plain cornmeal and that's one half cup. To that, I'm adding a half a cup of self-rising flour. To that, I'm going to add a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. One and one half teaspoon of baking powder. Next, I'm going to add one tablespoon of white granulated sugar. To that, I'm going to add one half teaspoon salt. I'm right-handed. I better use my right hand or I'll be added about four teaspoons of salt. <laughs> so this is one half teaspoon salt. I'm gonna go ahead and mix my dry ingredients with a sp using a spoon, just mixing it around like that. And next, I'm going to add my onions. I like to make the hush puppy mix in this order, kind of mix those onions around in the flour, in the meal, and get them incorporated around like that. This is gonna be so, so good. I always get compliments on my hush puppies. So I hope that you'll try these and that you'll like them too. Next, I'm going to add one egg. Let me crack that. And look, I got some shell in it, so I'm just gonna take my finger and see if I can get that out. 
I did. Okay. Now, that's the reason you always crack your egg in a dish before you put it in your uh, whatever you're making. So next, I'm going to add my buttermilk, and I'm gonna add about a half a cup. We'll start with that. And then I'm just gonna mix this around. This is so incredibly easy. And like I said, when you have company, you have people standing around, they want something to eat, they're waiting on you to finish up. You can, and you can make these ahead of time. And let me, t let me give you a tip. If you make them ahead of time and you're thinking, well, they'll be cold, they won't be good. Well, all you have to do is turn your oven on a moderate heat, maybe 300, put them in the oven and leave the door cracked and they will stay warm. So now I have our hush puppy uh, mix mixed up and it's kind of, uh, it's, it's kind of thin, but not too thin. So I'm just gonna let this sit for uh, a few minutes while I heat my grease. And then uh, while it's sitting, it'll kind of thicken up a little bit. And then I'm gonna take you over to my stove and I have some grease heating and we'll fry these hush puppies and I'll, I'll meet you at the stove. Okay, our grease is hot. I can see it rolling. I hope it's hot enough, I think it is. Uh, I've got it on uh, seven, but I'm gonna turn it down to six. And here's my hush puppy mix, and I'm going to be using a teaspoon to drop it with. So I'm just gonna uh, lift some out. But I wanted to tell you that I'm also using some water. I, I have a, a cup of water here, and I'm going to dip my spoon each time in water, and that helps it to fall off or to go into the grease real easily. So I've dipped my spoon in water, and now I'm going to drop the hush puppy, going to dip my spoon in water again, and I'm going to drop the mixture in water, or in the grease, excuse me, in the grease. So here we go, we're dropping our hush puppies. And I don't fry mine really, really fast. I like to um, make sure that they're done on the inside. And a lot of times when you're dropping them, they will um, start getting done before you get them dropped. And then they're kind of burning uh, before you can do it. So I just kind of start mine out on kind of a moderate heat. Um, you want your grease hot enough, but you don't want it too hot that they get done too quickly. So each time I'm just dipping my um, spoon in water and then dropping the hush puppy, dropping, um, dipping it in water again. And I hope you can see this. I have light over my um, stove here and sometimes it'll create a glare and I worry that you might not be able to see it, but I hope that you can see this. And this is gonna be so delicious. It doesn't take long. I mean, you can just whip it up in no time. And then just have your grease hot and come over here and fry your hush puppies. Okay, we are in business. Look at that. So now I'm just gonna kind of work them and flip them over and just let them fry until they get done. Sometimes when you flip them over, they'll flip back. They won't, they won't stay flipped over. <laughs> so we just have to work with that, don't we? Just flip them like that. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so good. Love hush puppies. We can flip that one. He doesn't want to flip. There you go. A lot of times, uh, if you're frying fish outside, then you can just fry it in your fish grease uh, or whatever you're cooking outside. So we're just going to continue to fry these. Uh, it won't take but just a few minutes once they get done. 
I'm going to take them up and I'm going to drain them on, um, usually I drain them on a plate, on a paper towel. Sometimes people will use even a paper bag and put that down and put a paper towel over it and drain your hush puppies really good. But I'm going to put them in this little dish. This is just a little plastic thing that I have that I think I got at the dollar store. <laughs> but I'm going to put my hush puppies in there. So I'm going to finish frying these. I'm going to take them up. And then I'll um, come back and I'll show you um, our finished product, our appetizer hush puppies. I'll see you in a little bit. And just like that, you have a hush puppy appetizer. Thank you for watching our video today. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen. Thank you for liking our page and our videos and for sharing it with your friends and for following us on Facebook. I hope you, ha hope you have a blessed day. I will see you again really soon, and I hope you'll make some of these Hush Puppy appetizers. Mmm, so, so good. See you soon.